Hello! Today I'm going to show you how to create this scene from scratch using Unreal 5 and Houdini. So first thing what we are going to do is actually get some reference. I'm going to use Pinterest, so uh, I just got some reference from Pinterest, sorry. And then we're going to go through how to create the dunes in um, Houdini. And after that, after we have all this, I'm going to show you how to create this scene and how to create a cinematic using uh, this scene. So let's get into it. The first thing you're going to do is actually get some reference. So I was uh, kind of hoping to create something more uh, like a picture, like a photo. So I um, searched for desert photography and I got some interesting reference. You see uh, what I like is this clean sky here and uh, the, the contrast as you see. Um, and I wanted to make a very dramatic uh, picture with a lot of contrast and a uh, nice color. So I got a few references from uh, Pinterest and uh, I got to work. I mean, I started uh, doing the scene. So the next part is Houdini. I went in Houdini and created uh, this uh, terrain. It's uh, not uh, that nice, it's nothing special, however, uh, it worked for my purpose. So the way I created it, I used uh, height field, of course. Um, I, I made sure like uh, it's a, a pretty big one. Then I, I added some noise. So I started with the plane, height field, I added some noise. Then I used uh, volume warp to add uh, more noise and make it sure that it looks like a desert. I used a pretty uh, simple uh, noise here, I saw it in a tutorial and um, it, it just two noises, one is uh, turbulent noise and veins and then uh, I of course eroded, nothing special with the erosion here, um, it's not even, I don't think it's that accurate as well, but for our purposes it uh, does the job and after that I converted to uh, height field uh, I mean from height field to polygon uh, added the normals and export so this is uh, the whole thing in Houdini it's nothing special but it does the job so now let's actually create this from scratch so you can uh, see how to do it I mean uh, I know some people just enjoy following it from scratch so let's do that Let's start with height field, get height field, let's visualize it, make sure it's like a um, big one, I think it was 2000, after that let's uh, do the noise, height field noise and this noise we do it, uh, sorry, uh, this noise uh, we actually do it to create uh, the overall shape of uh, our dunes and currently it's a bit uh, too uh, noisy. Um, we are going to, we can use Perlin or Periodic. This looks <laughs> interesting. So uh, what we can do here is uh, just make it less rough. Of course, uh, we can uh, decrease the amplitude, make it like this. You can you, you can create any shape you feel like uh, like uh, you need. So this is uh, roughly what we can do. And after that, of course, we can create the VOP. Uh, it's volume VOP. Let's uh, go into it. And this volume VOP here, we need uh, of course our turbulent noise. Let's add it first, uh, connect the position and uh, of course after this we are going to uh, multiply, multiply constant and here we are, are going to multiply uh, this position with, uh, sorry, uh, we are going to multiply the position here and uh, we are uh, going to do a 10, so go here 
type 10 and then we will add this let's uh, get a add node we will add this uh, two together sorry okay now that we have added uh, this uh, these two together we are going to add a veins and uh, we are not going to connect it to this pacing it's going to go to position and then we can uh, multiply again and this time we can do something like uh, 12 and uh, let's do another add and add this of course to our um, terrain and right now let let me make sure uh, I have uh, enabled this node here and as you see nothing uh, really is happening here because we need to actually do something else before we actually can see our changes if we select our volume VOP and go to volume bindings uh, bindings we need to uh, untick this one and in the number of bindings we're going to add one and here it will be height and uh, in the next one and here will be uh, density and now as you see we actually got our result and this is uh, a bit <laughs> too too much and we are doing uh, all this noise turbulent noise and everything uh, what we can do first is uh, we can actually change the turbulent noise to something else and uh, maybe reduce the amplitude for now or we, we can make it a bit more but um, we need to tweak all these settings like in the turbulent noise and the veins in order to uh, achieve uh, the result that we want so let's actually do the amplitude something like uh, 300 and now we have all these uh, <laughs> uh, things here but what we're going to do is actually do zero frequency here and copy this parameter in the first one in the x-axis and uh, paste relative reference to the uh, z-axis uh, we're doing this because i need to uh, i want to uh, modify only this value and this value will be the same they are linked now so if we do something really uh, small like maybe this now uh, let's see we can change our stuff here and roughness we can decrease it but but for now let's go to the veins because the veins are actually what's causing uh, all this uh, nonsense here so let's fix that first so uh, for the veins uh, let's uh, first start with uh, veins offset and make it to uh, 500 in the x-axis and uh, the direction we can choose a direction later but let's uh, go to spacing and do something like uh, point 0.1 and now just by doing this you probably gonna notice that we now have these lines here that uh, are similar to uh, dune let's do one uh, fifth uh, five here and of course we actually need to uh, decrease the frequency a lot let's see maybe uh, so yeah, uh, you, you should decide uh, what kind of frequency you want here and uh, here we are going to copy this parameter again and paste it here because I want to uh, modify this x-axis only and the other one will fall so uh, we can do something uh, like this and uh, yeah this can be zero and from here uh, we have uh, some dunes but they're very uniform uh, it's not really that uh, nice is it we need more uh, more of a uh, how do I say uh, more, more variety 
So let's do let let's fix that. If we go to uh, the turbulent noise, um, here we can in increase the roughness a bit, like uh, this, and uh, even so, we still don't see any any uh, difference. So what we're going to do now, actually, if we see from here they we do have this uh, uh, this variety but uh, the direction is actually not what I want so let's do something like this hmm. from what I see uh, we can we can do something else like this and make them a bit less. So yeah, something something like that. And we have the variety uh, that comes from turbulent noise. We can uh, make it rough, make it smooth. Let's see. Uh, the edges are very important. Let's make something like this. In the turbulent noise, of course, we can we can change uh, different things here. We can make uh, this more f uh, less frequent or more frequent. make a bit more yeah this is and this is getting a bit too much <laughs> and we don't need uh, we, we for sure uh, don't need like uh, too much detail in um, in our dunes because we will have a texture that a material that does it so this is pretty much uh, done you can play around with it and uh, create something yourself but next we are going to um, do an erosion so erode height field erode so uh yeah my hoodie was just crashing but now after i have uh, the erode as you see we have uh, some interesting erosion here and uh, yeah uh, if you're for example if your timeline in the road is one, it won't really do much. But if you uh, play it and it, if you press here play, it will start simulating the erosion and it will do this. Uh, so I used only 10 frames to erode. I don't really need more. Uh, and this erosion, I don't think it's that, uh, that good for a desert, but uh, I'm not going to do erosion settings right now because it works for me pretty much. So uh, if I go to visualization and remove this, we're going to see actually our uh, erosion. And this is uh, basically how I created the terrain. Next, we um, uh, convert convert he uh, height field. So I'm going to get our height field and convert it to polygons and here now you see we have polygons and uh, next step would be to add a normal so we know our normals are correct and we can do output uh, node and here I can do name it export and to export you go to file go to export go to uh, film box FBX choose your path so um, and uh, yeah, it's uh, you need to just export it and make sure you actually selected this export here and make sure uh, this is the node that's enabled and export your terrain. After you export your terrain, we are going to go and see how we can um, combine this uh, and create our scene in Unreal. So let's get into that. When you open Unreal, we can do a file, new level, or uh, I prefer to 
start from scratch so create and uh, this is my new empty level and if you haven't seen my tutorial before for lighting uh, go check it out uh, I'm going to do the same uh, things there but I explain it more in depth there uh, so yeah I'm going to use the environment light mixer uh, get everything I need and uh, this is basically what I have right now so let me find a really fast uh, my uh, asset so I export it here and uh, here it is now uh, we can make uh, the asset a bit uh, big like a big one and you can uh, go to camera let's have this thing so yeah uh, this is pretty big uh, I will uh, get all these uh, guys make a folder and call it light uh, next thing we uh, need to do is go to uh, visual effects post process we need this post process and the first thing we do when we create our post process is infinite extend unbound and next thing that we uh, need to do is uh, we need to go to exposure in the post process settings enable the first three here make sure we're using manual and uh, disable this one and here you can uh, actually increase this 0.5 if you want or whatever next uh, the, oh, also put this in light as well next uh, we need a material for our um, desert so to get the material what I did is go to Quixel bridge let me open it and here you can uh, search for something like uh, desert and uh, you can go to surfaces so we have surface uh, surfaces desert and you can search for a material that you uh, like here you can use uh, any of these materials uh, so to get one material for example this one you click on it you, you click download then add to the project then after you have this uh, this is wait uh, this is what you are going to have at least uh, for this material I got only these three textures and I created uh, a master material and you can do that by right clicking material and uh, it's very simple material I have these three textures and I use texture coordinate to actually uh, do the tiling here X and Y tiling append them, multiply them with the texture coordinate, uh, connect them to the UVs and uh, after that um, so uh, in, uh, in Quixel uh, when you get this texture and uh, you see you, you only have three textures but you need actually four uh, things with ambient occlusion, roughness uh, and this texture is actually a combined texture if you open the texture uh, you will see that uh, here if we disable the channels in the red channel you have uh, the roughness and in the green um, I think uh, it, it was the no um, in the red channel you actually have the ambient uh, occlusion and in or was it like this roughness or uh, ORD uh, D is for displacement is if, if you see the name uh, it says uh, at the end ORD R is for roughness uh, D is for displacement and O I think is ambient occlusion or occlusion so actually let me check I think I had it reversed yeah okay so uh, we need uh, to do it like this so save the material and after that you can create a material instance by uh, clicking here and you can apply this uh, to our desert so you see now we have uh, this desert let me actually remove the clouds so I can see where my sun is select your directional light and rotate it something like this the next thing uh, you, you can do is make the sun bigger like this 
And you see, uh, you already have some very dramatic, uh, uh, very dramatic uh, scene here, like dramatic lighting. We can add back uh, the clouds, and you see they are kind of in the way of the sun. So what we can do? Uh, what was it? The height. So we can decrease the height here. And if we go to directional light, actually, we can actually move it like this and position it uh, the way we want. I believe this is uh, roughly uh, the position that my son was, but uh, I cannot be sure. Uh, make, uh, create like some nice angle and uh, now you have the sun. And as you see, we we can we already have like a very very interesting uh, scene here. Next thing that uh, we, we can do is actually uh, we can actually uh, let me move this uh, thing. I think we can decrease the height like this. And you want, if you want in the uh, here in the sun instance, you can uh, make it like this if you want uh, the tiling. Play around with the tiling. These are all the things uh, that you can uh, do. But uh, this is so good and now, but I, I think uh, to create. Uh, the environment that I did. Uh, next thing we actually uh, need to do is go to um, sky and atmosphere. And here, if we play around with this uh, this value, we can actually create something uh, a lot uh, more atmospheric, like maybe something like this. And then with the scattering, we can play around with it as well and create something like this. You see, uh, now we have a totally uh, different uh, thing in the background. With uh, our exponential height fog, we can, of course, uh, choose volumetric and uh, we can increase this value. We can make it like five if you want. You, you can you can create a very nice atmospheric uh, scene with this. It's very nice. And if you go to sky uh, light, and uh, we can make it real time. And here uh, one one looks pretty nice with this fog actually. I created an entirely different scene now, and. Uh, this looks this looks pretty good in my opinion. Um, so yeah, that's not bad. I did it uh, differently this time, and uh, I got uh, kind of different result. And to be honest, I am happy with this. We can put the camera here. Next. Uh, we can uh, already create our shot and scene and camera. Look for a location that you think it's nice. For example, this one here. This may be nice. Uh, or maybe this one, like this. J just search for a location. I'm not going to uh, pay too much attention to that right now, but you should and you should find a good location. And you can even duplicate this uh, uh, this terrain if you need something in the background but yeah so now uh, we have uh, let's say this is the shot that uh, we want to do next thing uh, le let's actually create the uh, cinematic shot to create a cinematic shot we can go here and we can add a sequence and uh, go to your folder uh, go cinematic uh, to and from here, we can just press this camera here. And again, I already did this uh, before. Uh, I have a tutorial for this. But uh, yeah, uh, we're going to do it again. So here in the digital film, always choose the SLR. Uh, now you have a bit more uh, uh, 
it, it looks like it zoomed out, but it didn't. The lens just uh, kind of, uh, it looks like the lens changed. And with the sensor uh, width and height, I'm going to do a 30. And here I'm going to decrease this until you see this sensor aspect ratio. I want this to be a uh, four point uh, something like uh, this. I think something like this is okay. You can you can actually um, do your own. And uh, if you go to immersive view, uh, this is yeah, this is entirely different uh, scene from what I created. And um, yeah, th this I kind of look this one <laughs> as well. So uh, next thing we're going to do now that we have our uh, sensor, um, we can go to focal length, and I used 60 for mine. So you can you can use uh, 35. Actually, 35 looks uh, good here. And it, it looks pretty good because uh, in this shot, uh, my terrain is scaled like uh, a lot more than, uh, than in my previous uh, scene. So uh, this kind of looks okay, but I want to do something like, uh, let's do 60. Because we are going to have a character, but, but 60 does not... Uh, does not do that well i mean i want to see the more details uh, of uh, this so maybe we can we can scale down the terrain however uh, now that we have our camera and all this uh, we need a character so what i did for uh, the character I used a free character from Unreal. If you go to the Unreal Marketplace and you go to free and go to Epic Games content and you can go to, I think, page 7 or it's around this page, you get these uh, Paragon uh, characters. I picked one, added to the card and then in the library you can just uh, add it to a project uh, and uh, select your project, of course. And then you are going to have this uh, character. For me, I actually wanted to use this skin uh, of this character. So you can add your character here, like this. You can position it, looking towards the sun. Yeah, it's totally different scene from before. And uh, you know, um, wh when you position your character and make your composition, there's a pretty useful tool in Unreal. If you go to perspective and go to cinematic viewport, uh, it will exit our camera, but we can go back right back into our camera and you get this menu here. Uh, it you, you have it only in a uh, cinematic uh, viewport, so if you click it and go to grid, now you see uh, this is the rule of thirds, and uh, you can do something like that. You see, now you, you can position your camera to actually uh, do the rule of thirds. So we have our uh, character here, and we can even do something like this. So our character is right on this line and the sun is right on this line and we have uh, something like that. Yeah, there's a, a lot of compositions that you can do with uh, this uh, tool. So yeah, do your composition, uh, put your character together and uh, now it's uh, time for animation. To animate our camera, it's pretty simple. First, I want something like, uh, I think, a 15 second animation. And if we extend this to here, I'm going to create uh, the transform in the camera transform. I'm going to create a keyframe at zero. And I'm going to go to here and create one keyframe here move it a bit like this, select both key keyframes 
and uh, make it linear and uh, yeah now in uh, this keyframe i will uh, pan the camera if you go to transform go to location go to z i'm going to lower the camera or rather i'm going to start from the top and it will go down in my previous one i started from bottom and it was going up because that was uh, the appropriate the appropriate uh, thing uh, for that uh, scene but for this one i will do this uh, make sure you click uh, add a new key and uh, here now oops now you see we have uh, this panning uh, here we can actually uh, uh, do something like cubic here so if we play this yeah it's maybe too slow and i want it to ease out the never start with easing in it should be uh, always uh, constant and i think uh, 15 seconds is a bit too much so let's do 10. like uh, this and yeah th this is our scene and now that we have our scene uh we, we can just uh tweak a bit uh all our stuff for example if we go to post process uh, if you want you can uh, change the bloom you can uh, even add lens effect like this make it maybe like this so now you can have this um, you can increase the vignetting by like this and make it even more dramatic you can play around with this post processing effects uh, but what i'm looking for is uh, let me find it let's uh, i'm trying to find yeah film grain add some film grain here and now uh, this looks nice doesn't it so yeah this is how uh, you create a desert scene um, in unreal and houdini uh, also this character looks a bit stiff so another thing you can do is go to select the character go to animation use animation and uh, we need to find a good animation and in her skins in her folder here we have animations and we can actually pick uh, any animation that we want and if we you see now we have this we can we can do recall i think i used recall so now we have uh, this uh, thing like uh, this now this pose is pretty nice but for example if i play the game and uh yeah this is yeah this is what's going to happen if you play if you just play in the game so if you go to world settings and in the game mode override with the game mode and now play the game and you see uh it will actually play this animation but we don't uh, need that we actually need just the pose so what I'm going to do, go to detail, select the character and here we're going to pause animation and if we play the game we have uh, this character. So yeah, because of the collisions uh, I shouldn't move my camera but as you see it's uh, not, the, uh, I mean it's not playing any animation and this already looks pretty pretty nice. Uh, I'm pretty happy with uh, this result so if we go to camera now we can just uh, render go to sequence and uh, go here pick your desirable format make sure it's uh, 24 fps 
and uh, pick your resolutions, pick where you want, compression quality 100, and that's pretty much uh, all uh, you need, and you can render your scene and have this desert. So this is how you create a desert scene inside Unreal 5 using Houdini to create the dunes procedure. And if you like this uh, tutorial, please smash the like button. If you want to see more tutorials like this, I'm going to do more Houdini stuff from now on. If you want to learn more of Houdini, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, see you in the next video.